everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the crow's foot lattice stitch. And I think this is a, such a pretty stitch. I'm going to pull it apart here a little bit so you can see the design coming out a little bit more there. You can see that it's actually quite pretty. This is a lacy stitch that of course looks the same on the front as it does on the back. It works up fairly quickly. It doesn't use a lot of yarn and it's just very, very pretty to look at. So today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. While you're here, I'd like to invite you to check out some of the other videos here on my channel, and as well, don't forget to subscribe. For our stitch today, we're going to start off by making a slip knot. And then for our foundation chain, we're going to work a multiple of four stitches plus three extras for our foundation chain. So today I'm going to work a total of 23 stitches. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and twenty-three. So once you have your multiple of four plus three, you're going to start with row one by working into the fifth chain from your hook. So skip the first four, one, two, three, four, and into that fifth chain you're going to work one double crochet stitch. The chain four that you have skipped equals a triple crochet and a chain one. You're then going to chain one, skip two stitches, and single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip two stitches, and we're now going to work a little bit of a shell stitch. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert your hook, complete your double crochet, chain one, then work a triple crochet into that same stitch. Chain one and work a double crochet also into that same stitch. Then you're going to chain one, skip two stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. You're now going to repeat from that single crochet all the way across. So chain one, skip two stitches, into the next stitch, work your shell double crochet, chain one, triple crochet, chain one, and double crochet all into the same stitch, chain one, skip the next two stitches, and single crochet. So repeat that all the way across your foundation chain to the final three chains. When you reach the final three chains, you're going to chain one, skip the next two stitches, and into this final stitch, work one double crochet, chain one, and triple crochet into the seam stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row one. For your row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're then going to single crochet into the top of that triple stitch. Chain one, skip the next uh, chain one and the next double crochet stitch and into the next single crochet stitch you're going to work a triple stitch. So you're skipping the chain one space, the double crochet, chain one space, into that single crochet work one triple crochet stitch. 
You're then going to chain one, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to work a double crochet stitch, not into the single crochet, but into the two strands at the base of the triple. So if you look at your triple stitch, maybe more to the side, you see these two strands of yarn here. You're going to work into those two strands like they're your stitch. So work a double crochet. So yarn over under those two strands at the base of your triple so you're not working into the single crochet. You're working into the base of your triple. You're going to work a double crochet stitch. Next, you're going to chain one and single crochet into the next triple stitch. So you're skipping a chain one, a double, and another chain one, and you're going to single crochet into the top of that triple. You're now going to uh, repeat all the way across. So starting with the chain one, triple into that next single crochet stitch. So find your single crochet, work a triple into it. Chain one and double crochet into the base of your triple into those two strands there down at the bottom. Chain one and single crochet into the top of your triple. Chain one into the next single crochet, work a triple. Chain one, double into the base of your triple crochet chain one and you're now going to work a single crochet into the third chain of your starting chain. So into that third chain which will be the top of your triple stitch work one single crochet stitch and that brings you to the end of your row two. For row three you're going to chain one and turn your work Next, you're going to single crochet into that first single crochet stitch, chain one. You're going to skip the chain one space and into the next chain space. So this one here in between your triple and your double, you're going to work your shell. So double crochet chain one, triple crochet, chain one, and double crochet, all into that same space. Chain one, skip the next space, and work a single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip the next chain one space and into the center of that V stitch there, the triple and the double, into that chain one space, work a double crochet, chain one, triple crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain one, single crochet into the top of the next single crochet stitch, chain one and work a shell. Double crochet, chain one, triple crochet, chain one, double crochet. Repeat that all the way across. You're going to, when you come to your final stitches, chain one and you're going to work your final single crochet into the top of that single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For your row four, you're going to start by chaining four stitches and turning your work. You're now going to work one double crochet into the fourth chain from your hook. Chain one 
skip the next two spaces so the next two chain one spaces one two and into your top of your triple stitch work a single crochet chain one we're now going to work one of those funny V stitches so into the next single crochet. So triple crochet into the next single, chain one, and then into the bottom two strands of the post of your triple, you're going to insert your hook and work one double crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next two chain one spaces and into the top of your triple, work a single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, triple, into your next single crochet stitch. Chain one, and double crochet into the base of your triple stitch. Chain one, and single crochet into the top of your next triple. Repeat that all the way across and when you come to your final single crochet stitch, you're going to triple into that single crochet, chain one, and double crochet into those last, uh, the two strands of your stitch. And that brings you to the end of row four. For row five, you're going to chain five. And this is going to count as a triple stitch and a chain one. And you're going to turn your work. You're then going to double crochet into that first double crochet stitch. chain one, skip the next uh, two, uh, the next chain one space and into your single crochet you're going to work a single crochet stitch. Chain one, skip the next chain one space and into the center of that V stitch into the next chain one space you're going to work your shell, you're going to work a double crochet chain one, triple crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Chain one, skip the next chain one space and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're now going to repeat all the way across. Chain one, skip the next space and into the center of your V, work a double crochet, chain one, and triple crochet, chain one, and double crochet, chain one, and single crochet into the next single crochet stitch. You're going to do that all the way across to your final stitches and to the last space. And then you're going to chain one, you're going to double crochet, chain one and triple all into the fourth chain of that starting uh, chain four. So double, chain one, and triple crochet all into that starting chain. And that brings me to the end of the repeat for the pattern. So from here on in, you're going to continue repeating steps two through to five, through to the step that we just worked right here. So go ahead, you'll, um, you may want to uh, go back a little bit in the video, but you're going to start your repeat at step two or row two, which was your chain one, and you're going to turn your work, you're going to single crochet into the top of that triple, chain one, 
and then into the next single crochet stitch you're going to work your triple chain one and double crochet into the base of the triple stitch chain one skip into the next triple crochet work a single crochet repeat that across so that was your row two you're going to repeat rows two to five for as long as you would like the pattern to continue and uh, that's all there is to working this crow's foot lattice so thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and until next time happy crocheting bye